This is gonna be by baby. This is what I'm talking about. Jadon and baby coming out in sets two and three. Although interestingly enough, the strategy kind of worked, but it was backwards. Like the hero was supposed to lose and Jadon was supposed to win, and then we were supposed to come to game three. But either way, we're here. So I actually don't know who's gonna come out for uh, for SKT. It is the Terran apparently. But they played Fantasy already, so what other turn do they have? Like Yongjae? JYJ? You you can't send JYJ against Baby. That's just not gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. It's not gonna work. Although I said the same thing of Hero versus Fantasy, so I guess we'll see. But it's gotta be JYJ, right? They've got no other turn. Maybe it could be Sock? Oh my god, it is Sock. <laughs> I told you guys, I told you, I told you it would be somebody terrible for SKT, I was like, SKT, they're just trying to take it 2-0, oh man, SKT, look, now, now the coach is shitting himself, he's like, oh my god, now we have to have Sock win, oh man, ah, this is good, this is glorious. Uh, all right, come on, baby, don't drop the ball like you did yesterday. I mean, yesterday, baby lost against Saxory, which was kind of stupid. So, come on, baby, show them what you got. I mean, to be fair, Sock did beat Flash once in TBT. All that was like once, but you know. Even once, it's like he's got a flash number of one, guys. I mean, that's that's got to say something, right? I'm pretty sure you can put that on your resume. All right. In the bottom left corner is the Red Terran. We will have Bye Baby, a.k.a. T.Y. Which isn't like nearly as cool as JD, but we can't all have like cool initials, can we? Anyway, there is Sock, who, as we saw before, what was he actually? Wait, was he like one and two, two and three? I can't remember. He's slightly below 50% with not very many games played this season. Alright. So we are on a uh, Neo Sniper Ridge. AKA uh, Nazi Ridge. By the way, do you guys see that thread in general about some guy in India like made a store called Hitler and had, had like a swastika on it and then when people got really mad at him he's like, what? I didn't know that Hitler killed people. Man, that was bizarre. Stay in school, children. That's all I can say. Stay in school. Um, so we are going to have a wall in from uh, from Fantasy. Or, sorry, from Sock. <laughs> Whoops! SKT wishes this was Fantasy. I'm oh, sorry, my bad. No, this is just Sock. Nowhere near Fantasy. I don't know why the commentators are so obsessed about this uh, Kakaru. Or I guess the Observer is. He's, like, not nearly as cute as Panda Bear Guy. Whatever happened to Panda Bear Guy? Why don't they bring him back anymore? There's like Kakarus on a whole bunch of maps, but there's no Panda Bear Guys anymore. Actually, now that I think about it, I think they removed all land critters because um, they can like randomly disrupt gameplay. If they just like stand on your expansion, you just can't take an expo. I, I gotta admit, that was pretty annoying, but... Anyway. Uh, Looks like standard stuff from uh, from Baby. It's not going for the Wallen. Wallen in TBT is uh, not really so common, just because it's it becomes very vulnerable. Like if your opponent does any early aggression, uh, like if he two facts you or something, um, you basically cannot hold your wall. So you're giving him two free supply depots straight off the bat, and if you're trying to hold something like a two fact early on, that can be quite detrimental. Uh, also, it's not particularly needed. I mean, it's not like he's gonna, you know, you've got to block a Zergling Rumbai or something anyway, so... 
you know, like, it blocks the SCV scout. Yeah, it can block Vulture Runbys later on, but you can, like, wall again at your natural anyway, so it's not really a big deal, I don't think. Anyway, he's getting his own factory now. Uh, both players are actually scouting at the same timing. One One's interesting vulnerability when you do go for wall, though, uh, that I've seen it happen a few times, and it's hilarious when it happens, is your opponent, because in TVT, you often uh, use your barracks to go scout your opponent's base, right? So if he sees that you walled in, he can actually land, your opponent can actually land his barracks. Oh shit, it's 2 port. 2 port! 2 port! 2 port, a su, a su. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, your opponent can actually land his barracks at your wall and like wall you into your own base. It's quite funny when that happens. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so Sock is going for a 2 port wraith. Slightly cheesy build, although you know what? I'm inclined to say it's yeah, it's 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 not it's not that bad. You know, as far as as far as what we've seen so far, at least it's not like proxy gates or proxy racks. So let's it it, it will require some nice uh, some nice rage micro from him. Now the question, the problem for baby though is that he's gone for a build that kind of gets countered by two port because he's gone for one fact one port. So he's actually probably going to make like <coughs> rates of his own, potentially a dropship as well. And that's going to be very, very bad. This might actually just be a build order counter here. This could actually be very, very bad now for Baby. Alright, he's getting machine chop. I don't think he's going to get an armory or an engineering bay. I think Baby might have actually just lost. Oh, he's going, str he's going straight for the control tower. I hope he's not going straight for drop. If he gets one port cloak... No, he's still going to be in trouble, I think. Uh. This is looking very, very nervous. I'm extremely nervous for Baby right now. Oh man. He's gonna see the wall off. That's gonna make him very suspicious. Look at that! Instant engineering bay! Yes! Yes, baby! That's what I'm talking about. You see that sense? You see the sense? He sees the wall. He's like, wait just a darn minute here. Why are you walling off in a TVT? Either, either you're doing something cheesy or your C minus level IC cup. Now, in Sock's case, I'm actually not sure which one of those would be true. But, good job making the engineering bay. Oh shit, it's too late though because the vulture gets in and actually helps snipe the SEVs building the engineering bay. It does go down. And actually the wraiths are going to run away. Oh, they're going to camp the, the starboard here. So a wraith cannot come out. I think Baby might actually just have to cancel and restart the wraith so he doesn't lose it. And, and Sock knowing this might just have been like, okay, he probably canceled so I'll just go somewhere else now. Because that wraith won't live if it comes out. He needs cloaking to be finished, and even if it is, I don't. I don't actually, I'm not sure how much energy Wraith started off with, but uh, turrets are going up in the mineral lines. And you know, even though he's lost a good number of SEVs already, uh, thanks to that vulture running in and the Wraith coming in, I think he's still okay. This wall out of the natural, by the way, kind of exemplifies what I was saying earlier about why you don't need to wall in your main. Because if you are scared of vulture runbys, you just wall like this at your natural, and it's still fine. I mean, you know, even though the vulture did get in, that's just because maybe he was a little bit out of position with his own vulture. And look at that, turrets are up. So wow. Baby is actually going to hold this off. And now his expansion is up and running, so even though he lost some SEVs, he's going to be pumping them out double time, and what potentially might have been a build order counter has just turned into uh, an absolutely fine situation for Baby. Whew! Thank goodness. Oh man, I just love that sense though. Noted, like, as soon as he got the SC he saw the wall with the SEV, it's just like, uh, instant engineering bay. Anyway, oh, oh, nah, he gets it. Too many rates out. That's okay. So I think Baby should, uh, or is, does have an advantage now. His glance center is up way, way, way sooner. Now, those rates will continue to be useful, but, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll see. The only problem I think for Baby now is that his starport, his own starport, is sl a slight, uh, wasted, slightly wasted investment there. I don't think it really makes sense for him to make his own wraiths off one star port when there's two port wraiths coming out from his opponent. Um, like it's just not really going to do too much. Oh no! Oh, loses a siege tank. That's actually a pretty big deal here. Losing such an early siege tank, it's almost like a PVT if you lose the, or TVP if you lose the first siege tank. That's just like a huge deal there. He still does have one of the natural. That's not ideal. Um, but anyway, it looks like he is actually making something from that star port. I, I mean, it's it's got to be a wraith, right? It doesn't make sense for it to be a dropship when there's so many wraiths on the map. That's way too risky. Fantasy, I guess, explaining to his teammates about how he could have done such a better job than Sock. <laughs> and I certainly believe he could have, but 
Anyway, uh, Sox Zone expansion is up and running now. I mean, the supplies are actually dead even. 43 to 43. Uh, looks like 45 now for uh, for Baby. I believe that's probably a little bit more army supply for... What the fuck? Uh, why would you get a medic right now? Why? Wait a minute. Is he just actually going to heal that one marine? Is that how he's going to deal with all the wraiths? Because he knows that like a medic heals faster than a DPS of four wraiths or something? Wait a minute. Hold on. There's got to be... Is he... Can you... What? <laughs> Alright. That's cool. Get a medic. Someone's saying actually that the medic is to heal SCBs, and that explanation makes probably the most sense to me. Although he did get four marines though. He actually got four marines. Baby's actually getting marines as a counter to the wraiths. And that's not even that bad, because marines are actually not that bad against wraiths. Wraiths' uh, air to ground attack is actually terrible. And they don't even have that much HP. This is really funny. He's actually going biomech in TBT. And he's getting Valkyries here. He's like overdoing it just a little bit. Let me get Valkyries and Medic Marines and Wraiths all to just hard counter your two-port Wraith. This is kind of crazy though. I can't believe it. Oh, he's going to see the Wraiths actually. So now he knows where they are. I, I'm really interested to see the first engagement here and how Baby actually makes use of these Marines. Because generally Bio is horrible in TBT, it's always mech versus mech. Uh, like either Goliath tank, dropship uh, versus Goliath tank, dropship, or sometimes people mix in some Wraith tank uh, action here. But you never go Bio because, oh, looks like he doesn't quite get any with the first scan. Is going to grab a couple of Wraiths here with the second scan. But yeah, um, just the thing is Bio just gets wrecked so easily by like tank splash. You know, your Marines kind of clump up a little bit and then they just get absolutely demolished by the tanks. And uh, it's just not very effective. I mean, even vultures and vultures are fantastic against uh, against bio play. Anyway, it looks like uh, baby is going to move forward here, establish a position on this middle ridge. So this is already a bit annoying for uh, for what's his face sock that that baby's actually claimed the middle ground here. There's a scan. Seeing that the army is actually repositioning positioning itself, uh, moving towards the middle of the map. Meanwhile, it looks like the wraith and the Valkyrie are going to deal with that flying barracks. And oh, it looks like does he actually see that the army moved back? It looks like baby doesn't quite realize that the army moved back bit of posturing going on here. Look at, I like how Sock's kind of moving his army away from his natural a little bit to kind of pull Baby's army away. He doesn't want Baby to be able to just close him into his natural, kind of contain him. Uh, and I'm not sure if he has actually even enough forces to really have a straight up engagement. So he's kind of maneuvering in a way that makes sure that he can still leave his base. You know, doesn't let uh, Baby get the full encirclement or too advanced of a position just by threatening to run around and counterattack, I guess, uh, or flank attack. Anyway, it's like Engineering Bay, providing a little bit of vision for Baby. Goliath range is done though. It's going to push that back. And while I like Baby's position, Sonic is actually doing some pretty nice maneuvering with his army, I gotta say. I'm actually quite impressed by that. However, the problem for him, of course, is that Baby is now claiming this uh, this third base, this 6 o'clock base, uh, which is going to give him like a high ground position over the natural, uh, the natural rally point area of Sok, which is going to be exceedingly annoying. However, Sok looks like he's just re uh, is sending his entire army around the side. That is going to get spotted by Baby's barracks here. And Oh, it looks like a bit of an air engagement, but there's a lot of Goliaths on the ground to support those. So that's a little bit of a bad idea. Yeah, there we go. Pulling back now. But Baby is now getting his third. And I think Sok is partly saying, you know, if you're going to deny my third like this, taking this position, I'm just going to swing right around and deny your third as well. Um, and yeah, it looks like he yeah, he's just moving straight to the 9 o'clock. There are some spider mines in position, though, so he might lose a couple of these units. But uh, Baby doesn't seem too perturbed by this. He's actually just continuing with this attack. And there we go. The units are moving in. And Baby's just going forward as well here. This is going to be very, very interesting. But the Spider Mines do deter that army from pushing in. However, they are actually just going straight for the natural here. Oh my goodness, Baby! I don't know if he has enough to defend this. He actually thought he could just do it with these two tanks and the Spider Mines on the ridge. But I think he actually should have pulled his tanks back a little bit further. This could actually turn into a base raid situation. Except that Baby is a lot further behind. He's actually not even moving into the natural here. He's actually pulling everything back here to defend... Oh my goodness, this is just really bad for Baby Sock. Can he actually break through here? I don't know, and Baby now is actually sieged out of his own natural. He actually can't go back to get to, to like retake his natural because the tanks are on the high ground now. Oh my god, Baby forced to lift. I am shocked. 
at what is going on here. The SKT coach is like, are we really gonna have three upsets in a row? Seriously, we're gonna have we're gonna have Hero beating Fantasy, Sun beating Jadong, and then Sock beating Baby. What on earth is going on here? Well, I guess it's the highly hybrid pro league. That's what's going on here. But damn, what the hell? Oh, we're just gonna have a big break here. All right, here we go. He has to break it. His teammates are already celebrating. Sue's like so happy. Dude, I know your guy's in a good position, man, but chill. Chill out. See, that's that's what I get for underestimating a guy who has a flash number of one. But, man, baby. On, if he loses this game, that's going to be really hard for him because that means, like, basically yesterday and today, he'll have lost matches that he really should have won and that his team kind of needed him to win. Because yesterday he lost the set, the final set of StarCraft 2 where he played against Saxory, which I think a lot of people did favor him in that one as well. And uh, and then he and if he had won that game, it would have gone to an ace match, and yet he lost. So that was quite a disappointment. And once again, it looks like he's going to drop the ball here in set number 3. I don't know what happened, man. Baby was like a mainstay of Team 8. I mean, I guess it's a little bit harsh to judge him on just two games, but still. It's playoffs, man. You gotta bring your A game. Anyway, he's going for a counter drop here. It could be somewhat effective. There are some units here, uh, some reinforcements here to help defend, though. He's gonna get a handful of SCVs. And it looks like Sok has actually just run all his units the wrong way, so he's gonna keep losing SCVs here at the natural, which is quite amusing. And the one vulture in the main, not going to do too, too much here. Probably actually have just picked that vulture up and, and rescued it. Anyway, ooh, the raids are back! They don't actually catch the drop ship though, because Sock just isn't paying attention. See, that just shows that Sock is actually not that not, not that good, the fact that he just missed that drop ship. But Baby, I think, is actually completely dead. I think he's actually already dead, because he's contained in his, in his base. I don't know what happened to his third. Maybe he had to cancel it, but Sock's now getting his own third at the 3 o'clock. He's up like 40 supply. Yeah, Baby baby has essentially lost the game now, which is very peculiar. <laughs> I guess going uh, Biomech plus Valkyrie doesn't actually really work in this matchup. Go figure. Maybe, maybe Baby just wanted to impress Boxer. Maybe because Boxer's there, Baby's like, oh my god, my hero! And he like tried to be all cool and stuff. You know, it's like in high school when you do like stupid, or middle school when you do stupid shit to impress girls. So it just, you know, it doesn't make any sense when you think about it later on in life. You know, you've had a few years of experience, you're like, shit, that was really dumb. That's like kind of what, see, Baby's going to look back on this and be like, well, that was really dumb. I was trying to impress Boxer, and it just, just did not work, because I lost a sock, who's terrible. So these rates are actually going to run away from two wraiths and two Valkyries. I'm pretty sure if he spread them, he could actually kill it. But that's okay. So let Baby think that he's got a chance here. That's nice. It's like, let, let him keep believing that Santa Claus exists. Be a good person. So we are now waiting for Baby to leave the game. Uh, he is kind of like ferrying units out. He didn't manage to get his own third up at the three, or sorry, at the nine o'clock. He ferried some vultures at the side. I like that move actually by him. So he knows that he can't actually drop directly. So he sent the vultures around the side. Whoa! Barely missing the swarm of vultures that went up to meet them. I'm actually a little bit surprised that Sock actually sent so many vultures there. This kind of move actually can be dangerous because sometimes you know players will actually just drop in order to distract you and cause you to pull units away and then uh, they'll actually just like if with all these vultures away baby could actually just go for a break oh my god shit oh shit fuck balls ah drop G Drashi oh man ba that was oh that was painful for baby that actually could have worked really, really well. So it looks like that drop along the side was a nice distraction for this drop of the six, but didn't quite work out. That was actually a good idea by Baby. Uh, so now he's gone for two ports with control towers. I guess it's getting a ton of drops, but damn. 
Damn. But see what I was saying earlier, with all those vultures away, he could have actually just done a, a carpet bomb on that tank line and just broken it. I'm pretty sure he could have actually broken the front when all the vultures were away. I think he can actually break it right now with all these vultures still away. I don't know what Sock is actually doing with these, like what he's thinking. Is he just... Because if you're like, it looks like he's looking for hidden expos, but you don't need to send, you know, 25 vultures to look for hidden expos. You can just send like a vulture. Anyway. <laughs> Look at Baby being all fancy with that vulture, and then the second one just comes in and kills it. Oh man. Hey, those three SCVs go into the top left. I think they're gonna go build turrets at the bottom of the top left main, just to completely contain Baby. Yeah, you can look on the mini map. That's what they're doing. So just if you just look at the mini map of that position, it's just so bad for baby. And well, I mean, Sok is basically maxed right now, and baby's at 130 supply. And there's no way he can drop here the six. I think he just has to go for one big break on the front or something. I don't even know what he should go for right now. He's lost. He lost the game like 10 minutes ago. We're just kind of waiting around, because it is TVT after all. TVTs never end. Oh, it looks like he's going to break out of this part. Alright, that is actually the weakest part of this contain, I guess, so that's not a bad idea. But even if you break this, what's the next move? I don't know what the next move is when you're down 70 supply. He's actually going to do a decent drop here. Oh, well, maybe not. No, no, maybe not. Never mind. He's probably going to GG now. GG. Baby. I know you're sad, dude. I know you dropped the ball, but that's okay. Teammate must win. Teammate, you must win. You must win today. Please win today. That is some god awful Wraith Micro. Is that is that like purposefully bad Wraith Micro? Is he like doing it as a joke, or is that supposed to be real? I I really hope that that's not real. Like he's just goofing off. Because if that was real Wraith Micro, it's like like even Fantasy's giggling. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that that was just, you know, a ceremony. Maybe I should just like stop saying that baby is favored. Every time I say that, he just loses to these, ugh, to people like sock. So baby has decided to stay in the game. Oh, he wants to go for another drop. Nice drop denial. <laughs> Leading with the engineering beta tank turret hits. Or sorry, with the science facility tank turret hits. That's quite clever. Oh, here we go. Here's a drop. Drop him. Drop him. Nice mind bomb. Oh, he's dropping SCVs. What the hell? I thought there were units in there. GG! Sock takes game number three. And Team 8 loses the Brood War best of three by Baby. I don't know what happened to you, but please figure it out before the third series. So can, can we actually just think about what just happened? So, Hero beat Fantasy, and then Sun beat Jadong, and then Sock beat Baby. <sighs> Is there like an only in Hybrid Pro League meme? Somebody needs to make a new meme. I don't know what the face would be, but only in Hybrid Pro League, man.